I got a letter in from a Wyclef. Simply says, fast car. The, who's got a fast car? You have a fast car? I mean... Okay, let's move on here, shall we? This is Atomica on Crash Fast Car FM. Good day, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another video. My name's Chief 24 Let's get into this one then. So we're back on uh, Burnout Paradise, uh, remastered of course. And uh, yeah, it's, a, it's another week. This time I'm going to be on holiday when this video comes out, but uh, I'm sure you guys will uh, appreciate the fact that I'm still uploading despite being away. Um, and so yeah, for today's... Oh! Jesus Christ, okay. Uh, for today's episode, I felt like we should use this... Uh, was this the Krieger Ubershall, I think? This one's the clear view. I thought we should use it um, for, well, probably one of the last times, at least for now. Um, and just do a few, ouch. Do maybe one or two events in it and then switch to maybe an aggression car or something like that. Um, and then we can. Uh, and then we can see if we're going to get a new car or whether we'll have to wait a bit. But definitely, I think this week, I'm going to probably do the idea, and this will be on Wednesday's episode that comes out. They're recording this on, uh, on what day is it? Thursday uh, of the last week. But this will come out on Wednesday's episode. And I think I want to do the idea of either doing all of the billboards or all of the yellow smashes or all of the um, super jumps, something like that. And then we can try out the car in in like an episode or something. Um, I have to check which cars you get for different sort of events and then decide from there which one I think would be cool to drive. Um, but I just think it would be a nice idea. It give us a different car as well um, so we can have more than one to just try out because again sometimes it does get a bit boring when you're using the same car for the entire week um, but uh, yeah let me come back to you guys once I found a race event and then we can get started all right I found one ladies and gentlemen let's try it out race where are we going the waterfront plaza yeah <laughs> not a long distance but there you go all right here we go Let's get it going. <coughs> God. <coughs> oh, I do apologise, fellas. I had something in my throat. Or whatever, you know. I need to cough. That sort of thing. Uh, oh, there we go. Now we can control our car again. Alright, we need to swing right here. Oh, that's way too early. We don't want to swing right that early. We want to go now and swing right. Oh! Jesus. I forgot how sharp this thing can turn. There we go. Okay. Well, that car was in the way a bit, wasn't it? Oh, there we go. Alright. We need to go down this direction. Get a bit of a shift on, come on. Come on, car, move. Okay. Ouch. Right, now we're back on it. Uh, here's a little story for you while we uh, attempt to... Oh, Jesus. Attempt to get to our destination. Um, I got a poster... When was it? Uh, like, oh, shoot! No, come on! Oh, you stupid car! Oh, you're such a stupid car! Such a stupid car! Come on! Oh, we just about won! Jesus Christ! Oh, thank God, because <laughs> it did not look nice. Are we going to get a new car? No. Okay. Uh, anyway. Um, yeah, I... Um, actually, I'm going to switch car now. Let's go into the garage and switch to 
some sort of vehicle, maybe the police car actually. Yeah, we'll go to the Hunt Citizen. Uh, anyway, I bought a poster, uh, when was it? Uh, probably in May, when I went to the British Touring Car event. Um, and I bought it, and uh, it was it was one of was, uh, like a poster of the McLaren special livery that they did last year for uh, Monaco, where it's got like the triple crown livery, and I thought it looked really cool. And it sort of was just stuck in my room for a bit in a roll. Um, as let's get into this marked man. Here we go. Where are we going to? Survive the drive southwest. Okay, the decent. Um. So yeah, I had it in this roll, and on the roll it gives you packaging, like, um, guidance, and it also gives you guidance on how to hang it up, so it's said to make sure to, um, oh, come on, there we go, no, he's not dead, come on, no, okay, uh, well, <laughs> it gives you packaging guidance on, um, how to get it prepared, so they said to put heavy objects on it and leave it overnight for the poster because it's rolled up. So I did that and it, ouch, it sort of stopped, um, or it sort of unrolled it and made it flat a bit. Um, and then it said to buy a frame that was 50 by 70 centimeters. And I was like, okay, so we bought a frame that was 50 by 70 centimeters, as it said on the packaging. The frame arrives, we think, oh, it's a little bit big, but we'll just test and see uh, if, if actually it's just, you know, wrapped in a bunch of bubble wrap and that's why the packaging is so big. But then we looked at it, we took the back out so that you could put the thing in, like the poster in, and we quickly realised that it was way too big compared to the size of the poster. So then we decided to measure it ourselves. Ouch. Okay, um, hello game. There we go. Um, we decided to measure it ourselves. And believe it or not, it was, uh, what would it be? 50 by 40? Ouch. Jesus. Or 40 by 50? 40 by 50. Um, so, you know, it's 40 horizontal and 50 um, vertical. But, yeah, so now we have a situation where we can't really buy a new frame because um, this is the first day on a Saturday I go on holiday for a week, so uh, it's quite clear that we're not going to be able to, um, you know, have it delivered in time and get it all ready and all this sort of stuff. <clears throat> so, we're now going to have to wait until after the holiday. <laughs> I also just have this 50 by 70 frame that's just in my room, I can see it right now next to me with nothing to put in it, so we might need to buy like a painting or something and then hang that up and then in like the living room or something like that and then I just have to buy a 50 by or 40 by 50 uh, new frame for my poster but obviously what had happened I think is the um, the uh, what's its name? The um, the the roll that they'd given to roll up that particular poster, or um, may like was either done like wrong, like they gave the wrong one for the wrong poster to to the supplier, because it I bought it from like a, a shop that was at the British Touring Car event, but it wasn't like. A, directly from the manufacturer it was you know just given to them and then they could sell it so either the person that was selling it to me put it in the wrong paper which give, gave me the wrong measurement or the manufacturer gave the wrong paper with that poster to the seller who then wrapped it and didn't check it and so yeah it's <laughs> it's been a bit of a palaver uh, and I guess the moral of the story is, if you're going to wrap something in a frame, make sure you check that it actually is the size that the wrapping paper has told you to get for the frame. Because otherwise you're going to end up in a situation like me, where, like I said, I have just this frame and nothing to put in it. Anyway, enough of the story. 
it's now time to do another marked man, because why not? Survive the drive northeast uh, to the Coast Guard yeah, HQ. It's a bit of a short one, but okay. Um, so yeah, I thought that was a funny story that happened just as I was uh, just as I was about to uh, be all happy and excited that I'd finally got it framed. Because again, we've been waiting a few months just for ourselves, like just all on ourselves. It's not on anything else. We're just waiting for us to decide to buy one, and then we buy one, and then it's like. Yeah, it's, it's the wrong size, so... Oh! Okay. Um, so, not great, but... There you go. Make sure you measure the size yourselves, ladies and gents, if you're going to frame something. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, in other news, Esban Ocon has signed for Haas, so that's quite cool. For him, okay. Uh, I reckon it would do a decent job at Haas. Uh, they could use someone with some experience as well, because they're obviously bringing in Oli Behrman. And oh, there we go. We got across. And yeah, anyway, in Bat Paradise, that is multiple wins now. We're up to 46. We've got 46 left, should I say? Still no new car though. Uh, I'm gonna actually switch back to the clear view then uh, or maybe we go to the uber shell actually where is it it's over here there it is we'll just use the uber chalet <clears throat> uh, oh yeah I looked at the finishes by the way and this one looks like so cool so we're probably going to use that and then uh, what secondary do we want black and blue looks so cool and it's sort of my colours, so we're going to do that. Such a cool looking car. Anyway, we've got a race ahead. And I suspect this will be one which will put us over the line. Hopefully, maybe, potentially. Race south to the Wildcats baseball stadium. It's a short one. Okay. Come on. Oh, God. That poor F1 car. Anyway, let's get a bit of boost going. Okay. 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 He is just absolutely pit maneuvered me out of nowhere and completely screwed me up there. But we've still got a little bit of time to to get up. There we go. Let's get going, come on, come on. Traffic wasn't great there, but we're across the line and that is a dub. Very quick dub. But a dub nonetheless, anyway. What have we got? 45 wins until we rank up. Still no new car. Right, we're going to do another race. Um, and then I just need to check the time. Yeah, I reckon we could do a race, even if this one is like if this one's short, we might even be able to do another race. So we could make plenty race of progress here. To the wind farm. Okay. Um, still got a ways to go then for this one. Right. Anyway, let's let's get going. And let me think. What else is there to uh, to talk about as we get a card takedown? We almost got taken down by a car ourselves. God, the AI love to pit maneuver us in this car. Um, anyway, is there anything else to talk about that I can think of? Not this week, um, as of recording. Again, like I said, this is last week, so I have no idea what has happened at the Belgian Grand Prix, other than um, it's likely that Max is going to take a grip penalty for um, engine components which is fair enough because he's done that last two years around Belgium uh, and we'll see if he wins this one um, but oh Jesus um, but apparently I haven't heard this directly so I'm actually not gonna I'm not gonna say that this is a fact 
but apparently there's slight rumours that he's been told not to be doing sim racing at 3am, which to be honest, I don't think it really changed his mood at all. Like, I don't think it made him tired or whatever, like, he's a grown man, he can, like, loads of people, like, even me, like I said, when I first talked about this, oh, excuse me, um, I sometimes <laughs> go into uni with, like, four hours of sleep, and I'm completely fine, and I get that going to uni isn't exactly driving a race car with g-forces flying all around but he's also got adrenaline you have to remember oh, to help him keep awake so I mean yeah you might you might have had a kip after after the race but yeah I really don't I really don't think sim racing is what has lost him and lost his temper uh, in that race I think he's completely fine whether he did it or didn't but anyway he uh, he apparently might not be allowed to race at 3 or 4 for a sim race which is yeah <laughs> the Carson Thunder custom is now oh, cruising around Paradise City if you see it shut it down to add it to your car collection we got a new car ladies and gentlemen so we'll uh, we'll grab that one and then we'll call it a day on the episode. And then um, I'm gonna have to look at what um, what uh, what you know like um, what are they called like secondary objectives you know collectibles. What collectibles I want to do to get the carbon version of a certain car. So I have to look at that and then we will. Uh, well, you'll see on the episode on Wednesday which one I've decided to do. Um, and so yeah, hopefully it should be a good episode. Uh, and we'll also try out the carbon car as well by the end of the episode. Um, as well, because why not? Uh, anyway, I'll cut to you once I've found this car, so yeah, I'll be back. Oh, see it. There it is. There you are. Come here. You've got to be really careful here because our car is incredibly fragile. Okay, where did you go? Oh, that's that's the way to the the. Oh, that's the way to the uh, DLC fella. Okay, we're going on uncharted territory here. I've never been across this bridge. I've got to get across. Where'd he go? Oh, he just died behind me. My granddaddy was in the navy, a sailor was he? with a car in every port. Head on down to the naval yard to take a tour of his old aircraft carrier. Of course, you won't be able to see much when you're ripping through it at 200 miles an hour. Keep it dialed in. This is Captain Atomico. Ah, oh, you are oh, kidding. Ouch. I have no idea where any of these roads go because I've never been on the, uh, I've never been on this island, the DLC island. Looks really fun. So I guess we got a sneak peek of that, but I think I've lost him again. So I'm just gonna head back to the mainland and then uh yeah I'll, Oh Jesus, I'll cut to you guys once I've found him again. Those are the different, um, what's the names? Like, uh, events. So that when it comes to us actually doing them, then we should be all good. This is such a confusing layout. How do you get out? Oh, over here. Here we go. Right, across here. Right, okay, cool. Right, I'll, uh, I'll return back to the mainland, and then... Wait, was that him there? It is, that's him there, never mind. We're already back. And he just failed a stunt. He's a flipping idiot. 
Hello? There we go, right, he's on our way. Come on. There we go, got him. Carson Thunder Custom has been delivered to your junkyard. Good stuff. Right, I'll see you once we're at a junkyard and then we'll repair it and we'll call it a day fly episode. Alright. Here we go. Show us the Thunder Custom. And I don't actually remember ooh, what uh, what type of car it was. Sorry, I stretched that. <laughs> that sounded weird. Um, it is an aggression car. Okay, that's what I thought it was, but I wasn't entirely sure. So, all right, nice. So we got the Thunder Custom. Sounds pretty nice, but not as nice as the Uber Shell, that's for sure. So we'll likely use this car on Friday's episode more. We'll sort of split it with uh, the carbon car that we'll be getting on Wednesday's episode, as well as also this car, the Thunder Custom. Because um, that could be pretty cool. But that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. If you did enjoy you can go ahead and hit the like button, uh, comment if you enjoy below, subscribe if you enjoy all of my content, give me some constructive criticism as well uh, to improve my videos, but until the uh, next time, until then, it's been Chief Dog 74 and I'll see you guys in the next one.